Welcome to day three of your 90 day video marketing boot camp. This is Jenny Aldridge with Flex Mortgage Team, and George and I are glad you're here. As always, we love helping you grow your business. So if you have a client who we can help with their home loan, we are here to serve. Today, we're going to be tackling two topics. One is going to be the settings that you need for your camera for great quality videos, and two is going to be the equipment that you're going to need. We want you to be able to create eye catching social media videos so that you can market your real estate business and stand out. Now, if you're like me and you're already on video and you're like, yeah, 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 I just want to get started, go ahead and join the Facebook group, The Ultimate Agent 2023. There's tons of video ideas over there so you can at least be on video. I'm on video and let me tell you, I'm the one doing this boot camp, and I'm still learning things every single day. So this information is vital for you to know. Sometimes even though we're already doing something and we're doing it well, it's important that we slow down, we reflect, and we make it even better. Okay, let's go ahead and start with our camera settings. Now I'm gonna take it from the viewpoint of an iPhone, but this applies to Android as well iPhones can shoot incredible video in 4K, but the problem is Instagram will compress that video and make it look lower quality. So if you're shooting a video from your camera in your iPhone, you can either go to the settings in your iPhone or you can actually just look while your camera is open. In the top right hand corner, you'll change it to HD 60 FPS for reels. And when you're in your settings, specifically 1080 HD. Some other professionals recommend 30 FPS, so play with it and see what you prefer. Under settings, you're going to want to go to composition and you're going to want to turn on your grid. That way you can make sure you're in the middle. Now, of course, from yesterday, we have mirroring your front camera already turned on. Let's reduce that cringe. And then you're going to turn off view from outside the camera frame. That's going to help ensure that you don't see things that won't actually be in the frame. So you might be filming and thinking that certain things will be in your video that they actually will not be in the video. Next, let's go ahead and click record video at the top of your settings. And you're going to turn on enhanced stabilization. Right now you're gonna go back and then you're gonna click format and you're gonna choose high efficiency. Okay, that was a lot. So this of course may change depending as cell phones change. And if you have an Android, you can always Google different options. This is talking about filming from within your camera phone. I usually film within the platform, meaning I open up the app, Instagram or TikTok, and I use their app to film. So my camera quality may not be quite as high as I'm using their app to capture my video. And we'll talk later about why I choose that. But just know that in the end, you just have to do what's best for you. And there's going to be certain sacrifices that you'll make along the way, and that's okay. Okay, the next setting we're gonna to need to change is actually gonna be in the Instagram app itself. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna get the Instagram app and you're gonna click your profile picture in the bottom right-hand corner. Then you're gonna click the menu bar or the three lines at the very top. From there, you're gonna to go to settings, choose account, choose data usage, and then you're gonna choose upload at highest quality. This will ensure that whatever video you upload, it's always gonna be the highest quality possible. Okay, part two is equipment. This actually will go very quickly. A lot of people think that they need all the equipment, especially expensive equipment. The two most important things that you need are yourself and your phone. Well, and good lighting. Here's the beauty of what TikTok did for us. No longer are videos expected to be super curated or perfect. People wanna know who you are in the raw. That sounded gross, but you know what I mean. We're gonna get into later your branding and who your ideal client is and the purpose of the video, therefore changing how you're gonna set up your video, all of those things. But basically, just to take the pressure off, all you really need is your phone and decent lighting, and a window will do. But for instances where you don't have great lighting, then a ring light can be necessary, and I will go ahead and post a link to the ring light in the Facebook group and in the comments below. But honestly, what's come even more in handy is my Octo Buddy, so I'm gonna link that as well. It's literally what's holding up my phone right now so that I can put it on a window, I can put it on my computer, I can put it anywhere so that I can set my phone somewhere and record a video and then I don't have to have a tripod. Something else that might be helpful is a mic such as the one that I'm using to help avoid external noise. To be honest, I've only used it in this situation, but I think that could be really helpful too, so I'll go ahead and link that in the comments. Now, of course, there's tripods, there's gimbals, and there are selfie sticks. I definitely see where these could be helpful when you're doing property tours. So I myself have not used them, but check them out and see if you think they would be useful for you. But once again, go back to basics. If you are super intimidated and you're just starting, then just use your phone and make sure you have decent lighting. If there's something that you found that you've used, especially when you're walking through properties, please go ahead and post them in the comments below or post a link so that you can help other realtors just like yourself. And congratulations, guys. You made it through day three. On to day four.